I always knew that many types of mangoes were cultivated in Jamaica. But like many Jamaicans, I did not know more than a handful of the names. With mango season upon us, I sought to find out the favorites of my social media following with my subscribers and Facebook posts. Some of the eye-opening responses inspired further learning and boy, Jamaican mango species have some very colorful names, to say the least. A few weeks ago, Weird Place Names in Jamaica was published here on Elite Jamaica. So today, we share the knowledge and laughs of Jamaican mango names as well. From personal knowledge, research and information from subscribers like you, here is a list of 60 plus Jamaican mango names and descriptions, if I could find them. And please remember, some mangoes are known by multiple names. So if you can fill in any blanks or add further insight to the mangoes mentioned in this video, please do so in the comment section down below. Most popular Jamaican mango types is St. Julian or Julie. The fruit has a somewhat unusual shape that is ovate with a distinctive flattened side. The flesh is juicy and not fibrous, with a deep orange color and a very rich flavor when ripe. A well-loved crumb of the crop among Jamaicans thanks to its juiciness and rich flavor. East Indian Medium-sized with a large top and small red or yellowish end, stringy in texture but very sweet and juicy. Another premium mango battling for the overall top spot in the art of Jamaicans. Bombay This type has an extremely sweet, rich and unique taste. Its flavor can be described as rich and spicy. Skin typically remains mostly green with red blush. A slight yellow color on the bottom determines its readiness to be picked. The flesh is dark orange and completely fiberless. Airy Airy man is stringy, yellow are common. As one name suggests, this mango is found just about everywhere and is one most Jamaicans know well. Eating these mangoes require picking the string-like fibers from one's teeth extensively, hence some of the names given. Blackie, otherwise known as fine skin or green skin or green gauge or dunkel or kidney, sometimes smaller and less sweet than eerie mangoes, the skin is palatable, most often green and sometimes yellowish with black spotting when ripe. Number 11. Distinctive shape, smell and flavor. Firm flesh with a tangy taste close to the seed. Lovers of this type are known to indulge until the seed is white. Clarendon is well known for the abundance of this popular mango. Jamaican mangoes with names of people. Graham or Graham. Graham is said to be the seedling of the Julie mango. It has an oval shape with a round top that sometimes contains a small beak. The skin is yellow at maturity and is also bumpy. The flesh is orange, fibreless and has a rich flavor. Robin. This seems to be a favorite of many. The only information I found so far is that it's quite sweet. Keith or Keith. Late bloomer with an ovide shape and a rounded apex, its flesh has tangy and sweet fibers. The skin color is typically green with light red blush. It is comparatively large and can weigh quite a few pounds. Aden, large and colorful variety and can be a substantial meal. It has crimson blush to skin with golden yellow fibreless flesh. Kent, oval shape with a rich sweet flavor. It usually turns a greenish yellow with some red as it matures. Its seed has a tendency to sprout inside the fruit if left on the tree too long while ripening. Therefore, pick and eat it quick. Nelson, a firm texture, small to that of number 11 with a rich taste similar to Bombay. Tommy Atkins, generally not considered to be the best in sweetness and flavor. This late bloomer is said to be great for exports due to its very long shelf life. If that's true, hope it was considered for our recent mango export venture to the USA. Millie, similar in size to number 11 with stringy flesh fibers. Governor, sizable mango with fiberless flesh. 
Descriptive Jamaican Mango Names Sweetie Otherwise known as Sweetie Cum Brush Me or Cum C. Known for its sweet, distinctive flavor, as the name suggests, it is flattish, oblong, kidney-shaped, with varied colors of yellow, green, gold, orange, and red. Beefy These gigantic mangoes are common in some areas and possess firm and juicy flesh. Long Mango otherwise known as longy, elongated speckled, usually with a blotched appearance. Its skin is thin and slightly bitter, but the flesh is sweet and fiberless. Green and red, roundish mango that's, you guessed it, green and red in color. Bluey, a skin of bluish hue. Plummy, small mango, its name is likely comparing its size to that of a plum. Papa or carrot, it slightly resembles papaya fruit and is orange in color, described as lusciously sweet with juicy pulp. Cheese Said to possess a smell and taste of cheese. Hoping that someone familiar with it can determine what type of cheese. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Turpentine or peach mango Not a mango you'd want to eat when green, as it tastes like turpentine until ripe. Its skin colors can be a variety of bright yellow-orange, pink, purple, and red shades. When ready, the fibreless mango is sweet and juicy. Parat or peri possesses a strong aroma and acid with a spicy flavor. Has been said to carry the smell of flowers and potpourri. It is bright red in skin color. Bontong possesses a sharp taste that tends to burn a tongue, hence the name. Big and so so, otherwise known as biggie or big so. As you imagine, this gets its name due to its large size. Interesting Jamaican mango names. Bellyful, otherwise known as John Bellyful or Full Me Belly. From the names, you probably guess that these are really big in comparison to other types. One source of reading suggested it may be the same as Bombay, but I'm not sure. Anyone familiar with it, please feel free to confirm. Lipens, ovate to oblong in shape and averages about one pound in weight at maturity. Its apex is rounded and lacks a beak. The skin is deep yellow and develops a pink or crimson blush at maturity. It is sweet and fiberless. Cowfoot. Its shape is said to resemble a cow's hoof. Chink. Said to smell like bed bugs. <laughs> Bastard. Not sure how its name originated, but its most found attribute refers to its size. Huge. Garden gate or gatey. Only description I've found about this one is it's tough to the touch. Riverside, grown near a river. Roadie, grown near a roadside, possibly the same as common mango that passers by tend to pick off a tree and discard its seed, eventually leading to a new tree. Number seven, said to resemble East Indian mangoes, but are smaller. Also, we've got number 10, number 13, tin gram, pint of water, and baka kitchen. The mango is native to India, where it has grown for more than 4,000 years. It is said to be one of the oldest and most important fruits ever cultivated. Definitely one of the most loved in Jamaica. History sources state that the fruit was introduced to Jamaica in the 1700s, after Lord Rodney of the English captured a French ship transporting it. The ship was reportedly destined for Hispaniola, but he brought it here instead. Jamaican mangoes, green versus ripe. While mangoes grow all over the island, Jamaican mangoes tend to be more abundant in the parishes of St. Thomas, Clarendon, St. Mary, and St. Elizabeth. Depending on the variety, mangoes can be green, yellow, red, or combination when they are ripe. They can be eaten either when they are ripe or green. When green or unripe, Jamaicans tend to cut the pulp into small pieces and add salt and or black pepper to it. When ripe, mangoes are eaten, devoured to the point of the whitewashed seed as the sticky juices run down chin, neck, and arms. Typically, ripe mangoes have a lowering aroma to them. To determine if one is ripe, you can gently squeeze it to check for a degree of softness. Besides the controversial way of mango eating by many Jamaicans, ripe mangoes are often used for juices, jams, chutneys, etc. Green mangoes can be ripened by placing them in a paper bag for a few days, and that's just a tip. When is Jamaican mango season? I've always said that Jamaica's four main seasons are dry season, mango season, hurricane season, and Christmas season. 
Mango season in Jamaica is usually between April and September, with late May to early June being the peak. Varieties boast differences in appearance, texture, taste, and scent. There are some popular mangoes, while others are common only to certain parishes. Our love for mangoes seems to exceed that of any other fruit cultivated locally. And why do I say so? Firstly, one mango is really enough in a sitting for a Jamaican. We give the metric system a whole new unit of measurement when it comes to mangoes. Examples, a bucket of mango, a basin of mango, a wheelbarrow of mango. Need I go on? Secondly, during mango season you'll see bowls of the fruit at just about every roadside by vendors looking to make a profit. Some vendors actually only appear during mango season. Thirdly, we have a whole song about it, amongst other things. The song mentions that during this festive season, many Jamaicans replace a typical meal with the fruit. Hear the song, peeps. Me no drink of it, mango time. Mango time. Hear how nice it may be. Mango time. At the height of the mango crop, when the fruit them a ripe and drop, wash you back down them down. So, what's your favorite mango? If you know a Jamaican mango species, name or description that's missing from this list, please add to the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure having you here. Until we meet here again on the Lead Jamaica, just want to say, stay blessed. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe.